Good morning and happy Wednesday year three. So as we said yesterday, our task today is to think about those experiences that Solomon had through chapter three. And what we're going to be thinking about is how we can interpret and infer from those experiences how Solomon was feeling. So we're thinking then about retrieving the answers, looking for the answers about how he was feeling and then reading around those answers to really interpret and infer how he was feeling. So you'll see that today you have got a sheet that looks like this and our learning intention is to infer from a text and of course our text is the fastest boy in the world. Now what you need to first of all do is read about the new experiences Solomon had that day, okay, by retrieving those experiences from the story, from the chapter three. And then you're going to interpret, well, were those experiences positive experiences? Did he enjoy those experiences? Or were they negative experiences? Did he not enjoy them? And you're going to give evidence of how you know, okay? How have you made that inference? So the experiences he has are, walking to Addis Ababa with his grandfather. Now, I know that happens in chapter two, but he does talk about it a little in chapter three, and you can think about what you know from chapter two as well. So think about, is that experience a positive or a negative experience for Solomon? What is the evidence from the text? How do you know? What about riding a bus? We learn it's his first time riding a bus. Is that a positive experience for Solomon or is it a negative experience for him? And how do you know? And then finally, meeting cousin Wandu, because of course they've gone to stay at cousin Wandu's house. Is that a positive experience for Solomon or is it a negative experience for him? And how do you know? If you feel that any of the answers feel like they are positive, but they are also negative, you can put positive and negative and give reasons. They are, it is positive because, it is negative because. It's about justifying with inference from the text. Okay. I have also uploaded an answer sheet, which has got my answers, how I would answer the text which you can check your answers against when you have finished your work. But please do not look at the answers until you have done your learning. Otherwise, you won't be learning today and we want to make sure that you are. Okay, I hope you enjoy your task and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.